everybody. Sorry we're starting a couple of minutes late. I totally forgot. It is the first Saturday of the month, so 1 o'clock I went to hit start and the tornado warnings went out because that's the first Sunday, first Monday, 1 o'clock every month and I had no idea. It's like a three minute warning. I've never paid attention. So anyways, we are here. We are ready to get going. Go ahead and say hello. Tell me where you're from. I love seeing all the different places and tell me what oils you are putting on right now. I am starting today with a little bit of frankincense. She said confidently, not seeing her frankincense. There we go. It's always close. Starting with my frankincense. I'm putting some on my hands. I'm going to deep breathe that. <sighs> mm, so calming. It is the one. I'm also going to grab a little bit of breathe again because that's the topic today. And I always have my breathe again with me. So I'm going to grab my breathe again and get that one on. This is one of the big 15 mils. I don't even know if the 15 mils are still available. I know there was a special. We got a bunch of them because <sighs> it's one of my favorites. So go ahead, tell me what you are oiling up with. I'm going to see if I can find out where you guys are commenting. Yesterday, I couldn't find it for the life of me so that I could answer comments while you were talking. So we will see how that goes. I guess I don't get to see. So here's the deal. Even if I don't answer your questions because I can't see them right now, I will definitely go through and I will watch and I will answer questions. So if you have questions over the next couple days, I'll answer those questions. I also want to remind you, um, if you decide that you want to get started, like you're totally new to Young Living and you have questions, make sure you get back to whoever shared you this link. They sent it to you. You found it on their Facebook page. Wherever you found it, get back with them. They're going to be the ones to be able to help you and answer questions personally. If you found us on your own, shoot me a private message and I will be happy to help you out. So a couple other housekeeping type things that I want to share with you guys. I have so many notes. It's so funny. One of the, just recently I got done with a class and somebody said, how do you remember all that? Please, I have cheat sheets. Listen. I don't have this all in my brain either, so I'm just saying we all need our little cheat sheets, right? So some housekeeping stuff. Um, we have, um, every Monday we're doing a sensational supplements class, and over the course of the next year, I want to go over each product that Young Living has and all the ingredients that are in it. And, you know, Gary used to, every time a new product came out, he would go really deep on it, and he would really explain it so we, like, that we understood and we knew why we needed it. So I'm no Gary, but I'm gonna be doing that for the next year. And this coming Monday at one o'clock, I'm gonna be doing Mineral Essence. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Mineral Essence and why it's just so valuable for me. But we're gonna go really deep and hopefully you can join us for those. They'll be recorded, so if you miss it, you can always catch it at a later date. And then on Tuesday at one o'clock, we're doing all brain health. We're gonna go over memory and focus and clarity and, and why our attention spans are getting so much shorter. Like prepping for this class, like I told you, you've seen all the notes that I had. I was really nervous because I know that today's world, y'all, we don't have that kind of attention span. If I guarantee right now you are not just sitting here watching it. You probably got paper, you've got your phone, you're probably playing some games because we're so used to being entertained and we've got a short attention span and what we can do to work on that. Um, we're going to be talking about that on Tuesday. And then we have in Lapeer, for any of my people here in Michigan, I'll be out in Lapeer, Marlene Wieger's class. We've got uh, Wesley Pricer is going to be teaching on... Um, Wesley Proctor is going to be teaching on Kid Sense and the babies. He's going to be doing the whole dad duty thing. So that will be a fun class. And then please, we've got every Thursday brand partner Zooms. It's going to be fun. It's small groups of people. Four different diamonds are getting together answering questions. And this Thursday, we're going to be talking about structure. How do you structure? Where do you put people? Why do you put people? Our rise to rank incentive and how that works and how you can use that for your entire team and just going beyond like what is it, you know, your next two ranks and if you don't know anything about that, that's okay. We can explain all that. It's just a side effect of sharing these oils with people. So before I really get into the lung class, because I have a whole class on your whole pulmonary system, I want to share a little bit of my story. So some of you know, some of you don't know, I was in um, ICU in the hospital and on a ventilator for three months. And during that process, I had had open heart surgery. They had to go and fix some stuff. And shortly thereafter, I ended up having um, serious respiratory failure. 
and I spent all that time on the ventilator and all the damage and so all of my organs shutting down and it was just it was a horrible experience and anybody that's gone through something like that you know if you know you know you've been down that road and for me it's been it's been two years now that I have been going through that journey of trying to restore my body to what it was before and I know last year I got on and I shared that um, I was told I just I have to get used to the new normal I was on five liters of oxygen and I was told this is just what it's going to be. I was on um, five liters of oxygen at nighttime with a BiPAP on and then uh, a few months, a, a, a while ago, I was put on a BiPAP even during the day because I wasn't releasing the um, carbon. I just wasn't releasing it so my body was staying in this constant stressed out state and they had me on drugs they had me on so many things they had me on uh, you know water pills two milligrams of butamine in the morning two in the afternoon they had me on another water pill they had me on um, stuff that was helping with my heart rate but it was making my heart rate go too low and then my body would react another drug it was just this constant back and forth and they had me on steroids and the steroids actually caused me to have super high blood sugars so they had to put me um, on an insulin pump to try to bring that down and get that under control and it was just this one thing led to another thing cascade that was happening in my world and the stress I told myself I wasn't gonna cry during this the emotion and the stress that you go through when you're hearing um, the doctors and hearing the nurses talking and and them thinking you're not listening and saying things like I don't think we're gonna do the bath tonight she probably won't be here in the morning and those things, they, they get in your brain and they stay there and it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard to move forward and look at things and be like, okay, this is the world that I want to live in. And a few months ago, the struggle had gotten so overwhelmingly hard and so emotional that I decided, and I'm not recommending this for anybody, this is, this is what happened in my universe. I decided I didn't want that battle anymore and um, I stopped everything I stopped every med that they had me on I stopped it all and I honestly somewhere in the back of my head I knew that I wouldn't be here for long stopping everything because it was I was so sick but I couldn't live the way I was living either it was just it was too much I I, I don't know another way to explain that and um, I stopped everything but I knew that I had to do something. I knew that I had to fight back. I knew that I couldn't just um, stop everything and not do something instead. And at the time, my I couldn't even um, keep food down. I, everything smelled awful. Everything, uh, I couldn't do stuff. So I decided I had to do some stuff nobody's going to want to do. And I chose to go rectal with a whole lot of things. A lot of nutrients that I couldn't take in I knew my body needed I needed that absorption and I know that rectally we absorb a whole lot like when something is done rectally like via a rectal implant or um, enemas you, you absorb a lot more and it bypasses that whole digestion going on and because that's where I was I was I was bad that's where I had to start and so a lot of the stuff I'm going to be sharing and talking about I I had to go the other door because I couldn't go internally and I, I want you I'm gonna say this right now up front so I don't get any guff I want you to know essential oils do not cure anything they don't vitamins supplements nutrients you know all of these things that we're all so ah, they don't cure anything but your body when it gets what it needs and it can absorb it knows how to begin to repair itself that's just that is what it is it knows what to do with that water doesn't cure anything but when I don't have water my body suffers but when I start putting water back in my body goes oh hydration I know what to do with that and it will run around and it will start rehydrating the most important things first and that's how it works with every single nutrient each nutrient when people talk about vitamin C or, or vitamin D or vitamin E or any vitamin understand that that vitamin on its own is not a cure 
It's the innate intelligence inside my body that takes the food, that takes the nutrients, and goes in and starts using the, the nutrients like nails to build a house and, and a hammer. And, and they go in and they flip switches on and they flip switches off. And it's a combination of things. And one of the first things that happened when we started going with some of this stuff, again, I'm not telling y'all to go rectal. I don't know what's happening in your universe. And I don't want you to like click off the video and be like, nope, too far. I'm just telling you how extreme where I was. And then I'm going to share some of the things that I know are amazing for the lungs themselves. And you know what? We can start with water. Water, when you are dehydrated, your body can't function like it's supposed to. Like, I want you to picture right now inside your lungs an upside down tree. So you have the trunk is what comes down and it breaks off into all kinds of branches. And at the end of each of these branches are these little like grape clusters, the aviola. And that's where the oxygen carbon um, takes place. That release back and forth takes place down there in those grapes. And those grapes around your lungs, there is fluid and it separates this tiny thin membrane called the pleura so that our lungs can move in and out and it doesn't rub and there's moisture between them. There's fluid that is supposed to be there. It's supposed to be there. And when you're dehydrated, your, your lungs can't function the way they're supposed to function. So hydration, that's gonna be one of your keys and that's for every single system in your body is hydration, making sure you're drinking. And all of the things I'm gonna talk about, every single nutrient, all the stuff, is going to work better when you are hydrated. Um, it just Those are some basics that you can have inside your head to understand how it works. I'm, even posture, so when you're in the hospital, you are laying down and you're in a flat prone or your bed is up a little bit and you're in this position or what do we have going on? Especially now, they say you're not even in the hospital. You're here in your home, you are in a reclining chair chair it's soft it's squishy we lean back even in your office chairs we lean back and that posture isn't helping and or we're on our phone so we're tipped forward and our shoulders are in and we're not getting those big deep breaths Did you know your lungs don't open and close on their own they don't it is the diaphragm and the respiratory muscles that help our body to be able to go in and out and have that flow like we're supposed to have. And we have to change some of those things. So we have to consciously sit with our shoulders back. We have to consciously, like I'm not touching the back of my chair. That's the back of my chair. I'm sitting straight up. I have my feet on the floor. My hips are in a good position. My shoulders are back because when I don't, it's harder to breathe. I'm not on oxygen anymore. I'm doing so many tiny little things that my body has started to restore itself. So even when I got out of the hospital with everything going on, I was left with all kinds of scar tissue and that was part of the reason why my body wasn't restoring. They actually wanna go in and do something else to my heart and I wasn't a candidate to do it because my lungs were so bad that they couldn't do general anesthesia on me. Like. It was bad, but you can do things. And one of the first things I did other than, we'll talk the rectal in a minute, um, other than the water was I started doing some basic movement. And the movement wasn't what you would think of as movement. The beginning steps for my movement was some breathing exercises. So I still had oxygen on, I was still weak, I was still exhausted, but I knew that I had to start expanding my lungs because I had sat in this atrophied position for so long. So I started doing some breathing exercises and you can take absolutely any oil, just grab one right now. Right now I'm grabbing Raven. Raven is one of those oils that's just amazing. It's got different eucalyptuses in there. It's got myrtle, things that are just really good. When we breathe them in, it feels good. So you're going to take that oil, spin it around, and then you're going to cup it first. I want you to cup it over your mouth and deep breathe. Just a little hole. See that hole? I'm going to deep breathe three times. You're gonna hold it in for three seconds, and then you're gonna blow, or a count of three, doesn't have to be three seconds, and then you're gonna blow it out for double the length that you inhale it. So inhale. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna cup it over your nose, and you're gonna deep breathe through your nose, same thing.
Now when you are deep breathing it through your mouth and going down, it's going way down to the bottom of your lungs. It feels good. It gets to that very bottom of those tree branches we talked about, those little graves. It's getting down there nice and low. A lot of times when you first start deep breathing it, you'll find yourself coughing. <laughs> because you're breathing deeper than you have been breathing. We are all really shallow breathers and we don't get that oxygen down really deep like we need to. When you breathe it through the nose, you're hitting through this whole sinus cavity. It's going up in this area and then it's going down into the lungs. So they're going at two different directions. So that's one thing and it's simple. Every single time you grab an oil, I want you to get in the habit of breathing it both ways, through the nose, through the mouth. Then I'm gonna have you take, I'm gonna grab some eucalyptus um, globules Eucalyptus globulus, so you know, is the same aroma that you would get from um, Vicks Vapor Rub. That Vicks, that's the same type of eucalyptus. So there's lots of eucalyptus oils. There's eucalyptus radiata, eucalyptus deves. There's um, lots of different ones, and they're in the same family. But the aroma that you're familiar with is your eucalyptus globulus. So with this one, we're going to do something a little bit different. In this, I'm gonna have you rub it together, spin it around three times, and then I'm gonna have you do three sniffs, and then out. And you're gonna end with, all right? So you're gonna go, and then hands up to your mouth. and So you breathe it back in. So it's three quick sniffs, then out and you're pushing. When you're pushing, your stomach muscles should even push. Because again, you wanna push all that air out so that when you do that last inhale, it's going all the way down and deep. And what that's doing is it's expanding. It's making your body, your diaphragm and those respiratory muscles, it's making them function. So it's three in, let's do it together. It's and you can feel that pushing out. Excellent. So now grab another oil. I like to do frankincense. That's another really good one that I like to do. And this time we're going to really hold it. I'm going to grab actually cypress right now. Um, cypress is one I would like you to Google and see what it does. But um, it really helps get that cough that we talked about. It's going to help with that cough. And this what you're going to do is you're going to hold. When I first started doing this after getting, I mean, like, mind you, I was on auction doing all this. When I would do this one, I couldn't hold, but you want to hold this for five seconds, and then I want you to cough. <sighs> it's the same concept as the, <sighs> but it's moving a little bit different. So we're going to breathe this in really, 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 really deep. You're going to hold it for five seconds. Ready? Breathe. <sighs> And you added the cough. Did you hear that? It's gonna again, it's using those muscles because we have to exercise them. It's not something, especially if if you're not a runner, you're not, you know, clearly this is not a marathon runner body, right? So we have to get where we are doing that very deep breathing because those muscles aren't being used. So that's one of the things that I did. Another thing is I have a trampoline. Now, I couldn't get up and jump on the trampoline, but I could bounce. So what I did, um, we played different, you know, uh, we'd be watching shows and you know how people play drinking games. They do X, Y, Z and you take a drink. Well, we did bounce. So something would happen on the show and we would do bounce, you know. So like we'd be watching the house hunters and they're talking about how they don't like marble. So they have somebody constantly talking about the marble. Every time they said marble, we would bounce. So I'm sitting in my chair, sitting up on the edge and I would bounce. And the reason why is this helps to move your lymphatic system. You're all the fluid. So I was on so many different things for um, water retention, so many different things. And when I stopped everything, I knew I had to do some things to get the water moving out of my body. And that limp pump, so somebody can move your feet, but this is just bouncing. I just bounced. I, I couldn't stand up and do it at first. This was just my legs bouncing. You can also sit on the trampoline and do bouncing. You can stand at the kitchen counter and do bouncing. All of those things, um, your lymphatic system moves like milk in a cow. Right, so you grab the top of the teat and you move your fingers down and the milk comes out the end. Well, that's kind of how your lymph does. It has to be movement to move it. It massages that fluid all through you. So it was just tiny things. I couldn't do big things. I could do little things. Um, another thing that I did, so I'm gonna go back to the rectal. I'm kind of going out of order now, is um, I had heard years ago, years and years ago, I think it might've been Gary Young, might've been Kathy Farmer, I don't remember which one, but they were talking about the 
massive importance of minerals and how minerals are like the smallest intelligence that we can give our body, the smallest nutrient that we can give our body. And when your body has all the minerals it needs, it can really start to do all kinds of things. Like minerals, uh, think of minerals as things that flip switches on and flip switches off. It goes in and it just starts turning things on and turning things off. And so I had been drinking lots of mineral essence um, through the years in my Ninja drink. But again, I couldn't keep stuff down. So I decided that it's a nutrient, it can be absorbed. And I started diluting. I would take mineral essence in a two ounce syringe that has the little tube that goes on the end. So I could do rectal implants with some of the oils and different things that I know you can do internally. And I mix them with my mineral essence and I use those. And I think what happened is my body finally started absorbing some of the nutrition because I, I wasn't getting that. So I was taking my mineral essence orally, but I was also taking it internally. And when you do a little bit of research, you'll find that some of the, because those are the, um, those are our ionic minerals. So they're all those little trace minerals we don't get very much of. But I also needed minerals like potassium when they did all of my blood work, because when they're running you through blood thinners, um, not blood thinners, um, water pills you're going through a lot of your electrolytes just like if you ran that marathon so I was low on potassium I was low on magnesium my sodium levels were off all these different things so I started orally doing stuff for that and in that research I realized that um, my adrenals were probably really tired think about it adrenal fatigue happens when your body is under stress and it has this huge stressor your body kicks out cortisol and it goes okay we're gonna we're gonna lift this car off of the baby because some stress happened here we gotta run we've got to fight all these different things but if you can't breathe if you are suffering right now with breathing problems every breath is a stressor every single time that you go and you can't get that breath in your body's going oh my gosh what if this is the last breath like what if i can't get another breath it's stressor. So your cortisol levels are really, really high. And cortisol is awful. And we can't live without cortisol. Without it, you don't wake up. But when it's really high, it damages your bones. It damages tissue. I mean, cortisol can really stress out lots of things. But after a while, your little adrenals go, man, I don't get any cortisol left. I, I have given all I've got. I don't have any. I'm tired. And it doesn't have that for us. And a sign and symptom of that happening is all of your main electrolytes are really low things like potassium think about this you can google adrenal cocktail lots of people take the adrenal cocktail which is um orange juice because it's got vitamin c in it and then it is cream of tartar which has potassium in it it is actually a really high dose potassium a quarter of a teaspoon a little over a thousand milligrams of potassium that you get in that cream of tartar and then they add to that um, a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt and that's your sodium that's that electrolyte balance going on so people do that because they don't have the energy because their little adrenals are tired and when you are having breathing problems do you think your adrenals are tired you bet your baby they're really tired so I started adding things like I said um, I knew I needed a lot you need 3,500 milligrams of potassium a day when you are fully functioning perfectly fine that's a lot of potassium. They, I mean, on average, we probably only get a couple hundred milligrams of potassium. So one of the things I did is I made my own um, potassium drink, I suppose, um, electrolyte drink. So I took our Amino Wise, which is our electrolyte um, supplement. It's got potassium, it's got sodium. It has in here all of the amino acids that your body needs, those trace, I mean, those, those main essential um, amino acids it's already in here and then what I did is I just added cream of tartar to it so I would a day get a full teaspoon which is around 5,000 4,500 or so milligrams of potassium by throwing that cream of tartar super inexpensive way to get your potassium it doesn't have any flavor and I added it with amino wise which tastes delicious and my amino oh we know <laughs> my amino wise I added to my ninja rod so it was my red drink 
and I would have my Ninturette in there, my Amino Wise, my Cream of Tartar. Um, I put my iodine in there, just any of those things that I had to take that was a, a liquid so I could just sip it, sip it, and sip it, and sip it, and sip it, because my body couldn't take a whole lot at once, but it needed that adrenal recovery, and it needed that love for my adrenals, and those are nutrients that give that love. And then the other thing I did is, this is our Nitro. Nitro um, is, everybody always talks about our Nitro is just straight up energy, but it's really not. It is cognitive health. It is, it's brain health. This one is going in and giving your body back all those little bibbits. It has things like nutmegs, nutmeg, which is very loving to those adrenals that we were talking about, the black pepper. It's already in here. And so I would drink this. I was doing this uh, probably about three times a day in the very beginning. I would do it first thing when I woke up. I would do it around um, in the afternoon when I had my next dose. And then I would do it around three or four when you start getting that tired that you had going on. So those were some that I did. And to that same red drink, I added golden turmeric. If you guys have not experienced this, first of all, let me tell you this. It is delicious. It tastes like mango. And I put it right in with my Ninja Rad and my Amino Eyes. It was all together. And what this one does is it works on every single cell of the body for the inflammation. So this is gonna go in and give a little bit of love back because my whole body was on this massive overload of stuff and I just couldn't breathe. It just wasn't functioning correctly. And the golden turmeric and that combination combination started giving me back that, that um, I don't know, the whole combo. Like somebody asked me the other day, we were, it was uh, Monday, somebody said, so which thing exactly? I don't know. And I don't, I don't know that you need all of this by any stretch. You got to do what works for you. And if I'm talking and you're like, oh my gosh, that fatigue you're talking about, I've had that. Then, you know, maybe potassium and sodium, those are things that you can do super easy. You can get new salt for potassium, for crying out loud. Like, there's lots of ways to start getting that into your system. I know I was on a prescription potassium, and I was able to just switch it out so that I was absorbing more of it. I think that's part of the problem. Um, when we're taking and eating a lot of these different things, if you can't absorb it, it's not going to work. So this is why I had to come from two different directions for me. And it was a lot of liquid because I just didn't have it in me. Like um, my biggest meal source during this first couple of weeks of recovery was our Pure Protein Complete. I know there's a few more carbs in there than most people want when you're looking at carbs. And so you know, your lungs, when it is processing, um, metabolizing the food and the oxygen that we bring in, because that's what it does. It metabolizes it. It uses it. Um, there is more carbon left over or more carbon for the body to expel when you do higher carbs. So if you're somebody that you notice on a, on a day you had, you know, it could even be all super healthy carbs. You could have had good healthy carbs that you're a little bit deeper, a little harder, or it feels like you're breathing through water, that fluid. Uh, what's happening is there's extra carbon when you are doing the higher carbs. It's just a byproduct of metabolism. So there's more carbon for your body to expel. That might be why you're a little more sensitive to, car to um, carbohydrates. But with our pure protein, it's like 20, I don't have it with me. It's around 20 carbs. It might be less than that per serving. But what you have in there are all of the enzymes to break down every type of food and carbohydrate and amino acid that's in there. So your body, you know how I said my digestion wasn't digesting, it was not functioning. By doing it with the pure protein, my body was breaking down everything and it was getting all that plant matter all of those nutrients into my cells so I could feel that increase in ATP, which is one of the side effects of using our pure protein. It allows your body to have ATP, which so you know, ATP is an energy currency. So now that metabolism of nutrients that my lungs are doing, it had a currency to exchange so the breathing got better. So I was doing, like I said, my Ninja Rad, my Pure Protein, I was doing my Golden Turmeric, and it was all in the, that container. Another one that I was doing um, was, this is not a Young Living product, this is Dr. Berg's Electrolyte Powder. You can go to his website, Dr. Berg, and this one scoop of this gave me 3,500 milligrams of my um, potassium, 
and I could take it at nighttime. It didn't have anything energizing in here. For me, when I drink Ninja Red at nighttime, I get a little bit of an energy boost where I could do this one in the evenings and I did not have that happen. I could do this. It also has um, the same trace minerals um, sourced from the same place. Our, our mineral essence is sourced from the Salt Lake City salt mines and that's where theirs is traced from as well. So this is something that I did in addition to all the other things that I was doing. Um, another thing I did, and it's, I know it's weird because you feel like I'm kind of talking more like the, uh, the adrenals than the lungs, but if you understand the amount of stress you have when you are having lung problems, it's going to make sense to you that that has to be repaired too, especially if you've had lifelong breathing problems. You know it's been a constant stress, so how about if we just make, make you feel good and energetic in the process? And one of the things I did was a whole lot of Super B. Oh, I hate that y'all can't see any of these. This is our Super B. Um, this is our complex Super B, and it has in here all of your vitamin Bs in an absorbable form. So every time you are stressed out, so each breath, when you go to take a breath and the breath isn't there and it's thick, every single time that happens, that stress uses up vitamin Bs. It uses it, it uses it, it uses it. So giving my body back some of the vitamin Bs, the stress um, vitamins, it was able to help so that I didn't have that same stress. So then I could take a deep breath and I was calm about it. I responded the right way. I wasn't freaking out. Same reason that I added in our CBD. Now you can do the citrus, you can do our cinnamon, you can do whatever one you want. I kind of rotate through. I like all the flavors of them. Um, the cinnamon one I felt really helped give me some balance um, for my meals. I felt that it gave me a balance afterwards. But the, the CBD, because again, it's calming. Every single cell in my body has a receptor, your cannabinoid receptors, and it helps in that calming situation. So this is one of the ones that I did as well. And then, you know I was gonna talk about it, ICP Daily. This is, we used to joke back in the day, ICP stood for IC Poop, um, because my digestion wasn't working. I, I, I cannot stress this enough for you. I just wasn't in that place. My body was tired and giving all the stuff to give back that strength. And then ICP is one that it helps your body to naturally have normal bowel movements. And so when your bowels are moving like they're supposed to, that means there's room for more nutrients to come in. And these little villi that are throughout your intestines can absorb the nutrients. Like it's, it's a hand in hand. And what I like about this one is it is gentle enough that you can take it every single day so I was taking this twice a day also in my red drink in the morning and then I took this with my electrolyte powder in the evening so that it just helped my body get back into a regular you know when you're in the hospital and going through stuff that's one of the first things they're wanting you to get a normal poop right that BM's going on and that was one and what I like is it's gentle it's not something like oh my gosh I gotta poop right now this is just a gentle um, just process to keep those little bowels moving like they're supposed to then some things I really mega dosed on things I did more than I probably had to were things like um, sulfurzyme. Sulfurzyme is a, an element that it's like one of the top five elements that our body has to have minerals and sulfur gives flexibility back to tissue it's very restorative and so taking my sulfur you can do it in the powder form just put it in your red drink you can also do it we have capsules so you can take that um, I did the powder again the less capsules I had to take at the time I just wasn't in a place for that, so I would just put it in powders and, and drink it. Like I said, I was drinking, I was either drinking water or um, my sleep tea. I love iced sleep tea, love iced sleep tea. It's a phenomenal flavor. So I had that going on, or I was drinking uh, my Ninja drink, or when that was gone, I would throw other nutrients and other oils so that every time anything went in my mouth or behind me, it had a little love going in because I was just in that state. I was not in a place where I had time for anything other than hardcore nutrition. My mineral essence still, my mineral essence even still goes in my water. I do a squirt of mineral essence in my water just because my little body just loves the minerals. And I'm going to do a whole class, like I said, next Monday on everything that happens when our body gets those keys. Those minerals are just keys in our cell and we truly, truly need them. I want to make sure I'm hitting on everything. I really want to encourage you 
it, even if you're going to be on your phone, hold your shoulders back and bring your phone up instead of your body down. It's going to make a difference in your breathing capacity and your lung capacity. And stop, like every time there's a commercial, do some of the breathing exercises we talked about. Google breathing exercises. That's what I did every day. I was constantly YouTubing different videos that I could do for breathing and what helped me to be able to expand, what felt good. I'll give you another one. Ladies, if you are having a hard time breathing, take off your bra. You will notice I wear a lot of little jackets and stuff because I don't wear a bra. I don't wear it for lots of reasons. It's a whole nother class, what it has to do with the breast tissue and the dangers. But if, if you put a bra on, it's crimping those respiratory muscles that I talked about. It's crimping and pressing them in and we automatically, automatically breathe more shallow the minute that bra is there. It's redefining the way that your body is breathing. So take that, at least take it off when you're at home, the minute you walk through that door, take it, whip it, throw it, do whatever you got, and or when you go out and about, listen, my girls are hanging free. If you don't like them hanging, don't be looking, right? Don't look at my belly button, you won't see my boobs. I'm just saying you're gonna breathe better when those are off completely. Um, so other things, other things, you guys, can I just stress to you, um, this, what you breathe in is affecting you so much. Even if you're like, I don't have breathing problems, Shannon, I'm perfectly perfect. Listen, those chemicals, when you walk into somebody's home and you can smell their dishwasher and you can smell their laundry or you walk up to their house and you can smell the fabric softener and all the other cleaners, those toxins are irritating the lining of your lungs and then they are absorbed into your system and they go everywhere. There, to me, especially in your own home, there is just no excuse. Our thieves cleaners around 25 bucks and it's going to make bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles of cleaner. It is highly concentrated. This is a very inexpensive switch. You can get rid of all, every cleaner in your home with a bottle of Thieves Cleaner, some lemon essential oil, some baking soda, what other, and vinegar. If you have those things, you can replace all of the toxins and all those ones I just said, if you accidentally ingested them, you're not having to be rushed to the ER. I'm not saying drink all of those things. I'm saying know that if I ate it and it's going to cause a problem, then drinking, I mean, breathing it isn't good either. They are going to affect you. I know when my mom was first diagnosed with um, breast cancer, I had moved into her lungs and we went through her house and anything that, um, when I Googled it on the material safety data sheet, if it said that it caused um, cancer or breathing issues or any of those things, we got rid of it and I was blown away because things like the plastic flowers that we all decorate, those off gas, that off gassing is being breathed in by you and it causes problems. She had brand new furniture and did you know that that off gases the chemicals they put on it off gas for like seven years that it is off gassing and you are breathing that in so learn to do some things that will counter that making sure your diffuser is on you're not using those toxins if you smoke okay there's enough evidence cut it out like I, I cannot it, it's just not worth it my desire to breathe is way more um, powerful than all of the other things that I may or may not have wanted to do. So what else do we have? The candles, y'all. Candles are breathing problems. Even I used to sell, um, oh, what was it called? Candlelight. I used to sell the candles and I loved them and they were beautiful. And I found out that even sitting in the candelabra, not being used, we're breathing that in. It, Kick them to the curb, now, especially nowadays. You can buy the plastic ones that are battery operated. You can click them and they will sit and flicker and you'll have that beautiful light without that aroma going on. I'm just saying there's things. Um, make sure you're getting outside. I don't know if you can hear my windows open. Even in the wintertime, I get that window open and I get some fresh air going in because we need that wind. We need that action. We need that sunlight. All of those things work in our body. And you can check out any of my old other videos. I'll even post one in here that goes over some of those things and why they're so important for our body, for our lungs. Um, steam distillation. Okay, so this is something that I did. Um, I'm thinking when I first came home, Brian probably had me doing it about four times a day. And it is called steam distillation. And this is where, remember that moisturizer that our lungs need? They're really desperate for it. Well, this is a way to get lots of different things into your lungs in a quick, really inexpensive way. So you just take a pot of water and you fill it up about yay much. 
<laughs> into that pot of water, you're gonna add sea salt. Sea salt, when we're breathing it in, acts as a mucoloid. A mucoloid is something that literally digests mucus. So you're gonna get that hydration because you're breathing it in, it hydrates, and that salt is gonna help break it down. Think about when you, <laughs> I have the wind blowing my hair over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But um, anyways, when you go to the ocean and you're at the ocean and you just feel so good, part of that is that sea salt that you're getting in. Throw your mineral essence in there. Mineral, um, you couldn't put vitamins into this because you're gonna bring it to a boil and when you boil vitamins, they die. You couldn't put enzymes in there, they die. But minerals, they don't die. Heat doesn't affect them. So when you throw some minerals, you can throw some of our Megacal in there. You can throw some sulfurzide. I'm just talking like teaspoons. And all you're gonna do is bring this whole thing to a boil. So you're gonna breathe it in and it kind of mimics being at the ocean. It, it mimics that experience. You can get iodine, put a couple of drops of iodine. If you like using silver, put some silver in there because all of those are minerals and when they're boiling, they're going up into the steam and we're breathing them in. So I don't want you to lean over the pan and get that hot water super close to you. You don't need to do that. It's gonna go up in the air and while you're cooking, while you're doing stuff, or while you're sitting there away from it, not with a blanket over your head like you see on TV, it just moving. You're gonna be absorbing all of that in and I want you just to naturally be deep breathing that in. And you can bring one of your diffusers into the kitchen so that you're getting some of those good oils that we talked about. We're gonna go more into the oils in a minute, but you could put any of the eucalyptuses in there. You could put some cypress in, not in the water. I don't want those to boil, because again, we don't wanna boil it off and kill it, but you could put it in a diffuser. Like if you have one of our old Therapro, those work really good at it. Um, but any diffuser that you have, in combination with that, you're gonna be breathing it in. So what we do now that I am feeling so much better is anytime we're in there cooking, we're in the kitchen doing something, we just turn that pot of water on and we bring it to a boil. When we're not using it, we just have a lid on it and we let it cool. We do that for a couple of days. Then we take that leftover water and you can pour it in your bath water or you can put it in some bins and soak your feet in it before you throw it over your plants so that your plants get all those nutrients left over as well. And that steam diffusion, um, and that's gonna be good for just all of those things. Your body, you just absorb so much into your lungs that way. And so between um, putting the oil, you know, eating my oils, we'll talk about those in a minute, um, my vitality and doing all the supplements that we were doing. And like I said, I was doing a whole lot of um, liquid type stuff. And then I started where um, I started craving, hardcore craving green things. So I was doing my cauliflowers and my broccolis and my, my kale and my spinach and just started really adding that in because of the cravings. And then probably about a month afterwards, I started craving meat. And so that's when I started adding my meat back into the, you know, not craving like, oh, I gotta have, but my body was ready for it. So that's when I started that. So that's kind of the steps that I took to getting there. And it was a whole bunch of stuff. Again, I'm not saying you need to do all of these things. I'm not saying you have to do any of them. Um, I also put um, essential oils in my BiPAP. You wanna read your manufacturer's warranty, but you can go to, um, you can Google, and you can get these little things that can go on your hose that has a little diffuser pad in there. So you can put them right on that. I, I put it right into my water. I put eucalyptus globulus or raven RC any of those right into my BiPAP, especially because they had me on it. I, for a little while, it was like 24 hours a day, I was having to, to have the BiPAP on. And um, oh, anyway, so I'm not on that anymore. Some other things that are toxic that we don't think about, your lungs is where we hold grief. This is where grief and um, regret are in the lungs. This is where you're gonna experience that feeling of loss when you lose a loved one. Um, the, the feeling of loss of everything we all went through for the past couple of years and the fear and all of that, that goes to the lungs. And I find that super interesting because when any of us get sick, there's always instantaneous, you sneeze and you're like, <gasps> and we have that fear that happens, the what if, right? Well, because of that, there's some oil. So, um, Release and Raven are ones that you can use. If you look at an ear chart and you can, on the tips of your fingers, just touching directly like this, that's a good pressure point for that. On your foot chart, on the center of both feet, you can use things like Panaway or Valor or Peace and Calming. Those are all really good. Pressure points on your hand, which is gonna be right in this area, this area here. You can use um, Hyssop, 
trauma life or transformation those are all really good then uh, raindrops raindrops in general to me when you are going through any of the things especially when you've got the emotional added to it raindrops at least weekly feet and back so restorative so good so this is one of those where we don't do um, the 45 minute session usually Brian and I take care you know do each other and you know it's 20 minutes feet back and we're done we do some of the motions but the oils are going to do what the oils are supposed to do no matter what so if you're not familiar with that look that one up um, and to that we add raven sera eucalyptus radiata myrtle raven and energy I'm going to come back to energy in a second and explain the why and then you can use the feelings kit your feelings kit actually follow the directions that are in it on what you do and how you do those are things you can do again please understand I'm not telling you you have to do all this stuff I'm just saying we already had most of this stuff here so it's stuff that I was able to use because we had here and then there's some stuff that we're continuing we're until I don't know when I will be getting a raindrops every single week because right now that's what my body needs who knows what it's gonna need later um, and then we talked about moisture we talked about food and metabolism what else all the good foods so I want to explain if you go to the um, the lung associations website they tell you that the food for your lungs so this is on their own website they say healthy fats is number one so that's going to be things like fish nuts eggs avocado coconut um, extra virgin coconut oil all those different things and that's also things like our omega gyes our omega gyes is phenomenal it's a good healthy fat it's got all the good oils in there to help them go even deeper in the body and that one is out of stock but mind wise our mind wise is packed with good healthy fats so that again like I was talking to you about the nitro how it helps with the the brain and cognitive health and all the decline that happens this this helps to support that so that we don't go through that and mind wise is going to give you back those healthy fats along with those good fats that we we're talking about carotenoids and, and, and antioxidants again this is on the lung association website that's your fruits that's your greens that's all of those veggies the different colors and that would include things like our ninja red our ninja red is super high in lutein and zeaxanthine and polyphenols and all of those good dark reds and blues and all the colors that we're supposed to get from that rainbow it um, goes on to say that electrolytes electrolytes are one of the things the lung association says that we need and we just talked about those and the potassium and why it's so important and then um, in addition to that the, the minerals in general so they're saying things like our mega cal magnesium those are things that help our amino wise sulfur zyme, we talked about those uh, then it also goes on to say amino acids and the importance behind the amino acids which would be in our pure protein it has all of the amino acids it's also in our um, uh -huh, amino wise so I thought it was really interesting when I was researching for this class so that I could make sure that everything I said is clear and concise in seeing the things that I did and how they really just lined up so I want to go over the oils that um, are my dailies like these are my daily oils whether they are used topically or internally because it's a, a vitality these are my go-to's and I, I at least like non-negotiable one of them is the entire eucalyptus family so I rotate between them because they all have different essential oils have something called um, constituents or compounds so like lavender has hundreds of constituents parts and pieces that make lavender unique so what lavender does in your body and what it does in my body they're gonna be different so you need to play with what what feels good to you what's soothing to you the aromas that make you feel good those are the ones you're going to want to play with but eucalyptus in general again that's that uh, Vicks Vapo rub right we have a thieves chest rub that you can use and it's got that camphor it's the camphor that is in the eucalyptuses that is so comforting to us so you can use any of the eucalyptuses you can rub them on you can put them into the diffuser you can put them on those pressure points we just talked about on your feet on your hands it's an amazing one deep breathe exercises with those thieves thieves is a warming oil it's got your cinnamon it's got your clove your lemon it's got the eucalyptus radiata in there it's a phenomenal one again you can use that in you know the roll-on and you can roll that on anytime you want and I am known for <laughs> putting my oil on and putting my face in my shirt and just 
deep breath in it because you can sit there and you can do stuff and you're deep breathing it like your own little uh we used to have these tents that we could use with oils and you can do the same thing and you can put those oils wherever it feels good to you i really encourage you to stay away from your eyes and if you are going to do anything along the sinuses here make sure you're going down below the cheekbones right so those are some things that you can do. It's an amazing set of oils. Put it on your feet. You can take the Vitality Thieves and put it in tea. You can put it in a capsule. You can drink it. It tastes delicious. Add it to your sleep tea if you're a sleep tea hot tea girl. And then um, Raven. I think I already talked about Raven. But this is a blend. I want to make sure I get all of the oils that's in it. It is a blend of peppermint, eucalyptus radiata, lemon, wintergreen. It's just, it's an oil that when you get it out of the bottle, you instinctively just want to deep breathe. Raven with luscious lemon is like a spa experience. We used to have um, a Fitness USA place here and they had one of those spas and they packed it with that same that eucalyptus and the wintergreen, it's just a great aroma. You can take that again, rub it all over your chest. You can deep breathe that, you can put it below the sinuses. You can go for any sinus uh, pressure points on your hands. Just an amazing one. Then RC. RC is a blend of eucalyptus globulus. That's the number one. It's got myrtle, marjoram, pine, eucalyptus radiata, eucalyptus citradora, lavender, cypress, black spruce, and peppermint all in one glorious aroma y'all again you don't need them all look on your shelf see what you already have see what may have come in as freebies <sighs> use what you have but the most important thing i think when it comes to really that comforting feeling is using them more frequently so you know if you put it on like oh it was so good and then five minutes later you're feeling it again grab that oil and put it on again get it out of the bottle Put it in your hands, breathe it in, put it in the diffuser. If you put five drops in, great. If you put 10 drops in, make yourself an oil, uh, a roll-on, make yourself a spray so it's in the room spray. Just use it more frequently and I think you're gonna see better results for everything you have going on. Breathe again. Uh, we talked about breathe again. It comes in a roll-on. This is our breathe again and it has in here eucalyptus, let's see if I can pronounce it, stragerina. Eucalyptus globulus, Loris nobulus, rosehip, peppermint, eucalyptus radiata, copa eva, blue cypress. Oh, blue cypress. Look that one up. Eucalyptus bicostatera and myrtle. So this is like a, a bottle full of eucalyptuses. This is a bottle full of other eucalyptuses. This is a bottle. So between them, if you were using one every 10, 15 minutes and you were rotating, fantastic. If all you have is one and you used it every 10 minutes, fantastic there's there's not a long a wrong way to go about it just start playing with them use the singles use the blends whatever seems to work best for you they work synergistically together rosemary rosemary is another really good one that you could use um, it also has uh, it's high in senols which is part of also what is in your eucalyptus um, peppermint of course the peppermint I'm not even gonna go into we all love it we all know it uh, frankincense when I'll tell you what happens when I use my frankincense because I put frankincense on I put it here I breathe it in I have it in my vitality it goes on my ninja red drinks but I also make sure I put it on the top of my head multiple times a day and it really helps keep that feeling I had when I just stopped everything that it was okay um, frankincense made a difference it just made a difference for me so grab your frankincense. It's very powerful. Um, oregano, thyme, bergamot. Bergamot, nutmeg, um, energy. This, the, I set these aside for a reason. So that whole fatigue I was talking about and making sure we're giving some love back to the adrenals and getting that energy. Energy is a blend. Did I break down energy? I did. Energy is rosemary, juniper, lemongrass, nutmeg, Idaho Grand Fur, our old balsam, new name, Idaho Grand Fur, clove, and black pepper. This is an amazing oil. So you can take this, you can rub it on your chest, you can breathe it in, rub it over your adrenals, which are kind of at the, um, the base of your ribs. 
you can rub that all in. This is just great support to help you get that energy back, to start feeling like you, to have that focus. And nutmeg is one of the ones that's in there. And we have a nutmeg and then we have our vitality nutmeg. So you can take that vitality nutmeg and again, you can put it in your tea, you can put it in capsules. You can use this internally however you choose to use it. And it's just a phenomenal one that you can add to all the things. So I'm really nervous. I just seen a little flag come up that said it might not be recording. So we may have gone through this whole thing and not have a recording after all. So those are just some of the things that I did. I am doing much better. As you can see, I'm not on oxygen right now. Um, every once in a while, my O2 will dip down and I can feel it dipping. And <clears throat> we check it and it will be in the, you know, 75, 80s. And I um, put my oxygen on. Like, it, I know it's a process. I know... My body is going through changes and it's not perfectly perfect yet and there's probably still scar tissue in there and that may be the cycle forever and when I'm up and walking around and doing stuff I've gotten where I can do about three minutes on the treadmill before I have to sit down <clears throat> because I can't breathe if I put my oxygen on I can go longer which you know is common sense do that so I can really push it and get it going on but when I first came home I had to have somebody help me walk to the bathroom so I accept all the new things and uh, six months ago or so we were at an event and I had to have auction and sit on stage the entire time because I couldn't get up and down um, off the stage because I just I couldn't breathe and I do, that's not a problem we were with a big group of people the other day and I actually was able to stand up for quite a while and teach and I didn't have oxygen on and I was feeling good. So am I perfectly perfect in every way? <laughs> no, I am not Mary Stinkin' Poppins, but it's the what if factor. What if you try one of the things? What if you started adding the water? What if you added getting yourself outside? What if you added the lips so you're moving and get that bounce going on? What if? I don't know what can happen for you. I, all I can tell you is what's happened for me and how all these little pieces have come together so that um, I am now, how many weeks? Eight weeks, nine weeks that I have been um, in the repair mode, like seriously seeing a difference in my life. And it's it's worth it. Is it a lot? Am I doing a lot of stuff? Yes. Will I have to do all this stuff forever? I have no idea. I, I don't know. And I don't know what it will do with you, for you, but whatever. So if you're brand new and you're actually stuck through the end of this, this is a long class. I know attention span. This was 56 minutes. And if you're stuck through the end and you have questions or you need help, get back with the person that sent you this link. They're going to help you with that. And um, other than that, God bless y'all. We will see you with the next whatever that we teach. Bye.